turn nauseous Heartbreaker, please step with caution Whoa, you see, huh, we were the same until Suave Came to a step, set the game, I set levels Call them in your main boss, the road they're in your main I really got a mission, jealousy up in the veins And God knows what I want in my life, so I just pat in the set. Look at my eyes, I got on Mr. Press. We really got the press, not surprised at the. Uh, they think it's easy, come my brothers, come my steezy, breezy, greasy, look at dirt and all the we just grind. Uh, I feel like peace in the mirror, not a chick, a chat up the stomach, talking, we can pose and slide. I'm only here for one night and I have some time. A chat, a chat, what you, what you just slow. They never knew when I did nothing, I would chuckle. Hello and welcome to the footballing hotbed that is the northwest of England. Our venue is Turf Moor. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary. And alongside me is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Burnley up against Watford. Well, Derek, I have to say it's been a great start by Watford. They've shown a lot of good qualities. Now they need to show more consistency and hopefully get a win here today. And a look at the starting lineup for Burnley. Well, 4 4 2 is a good formation if it's played well. It covers most of the bases defensively, and if you can then rotate your positions when you regain possession, you can also be fluid in attack. Let's hope we see that today. And so the initial 11 for Watford. Well, in terms of shape, it's very similar. But can they add a bit of cleverness to their play? They've certainly got the individuals who can beat opponents in the 1v1 battles. And that's going to be key. And so the battle commences. And it's with Foster moving the ball forward with purpose. Well, credit to him for trying it. Didn't miss by much. Gardner. Gomish. Well, real excitement here. I say that because it's his long-awaited debut coming up. What should we be looking for from him, Stuart? Well, he's a good player, no doubt about that. And he will certainly improve their midfield. I just hope he settles in quickly and shows us what an effect he can have on this team. Going well. Attempting to place the ball in the back of the net, but not going according to plan. Gomish. Pinnock. Clark. Lombardi. And danger averted. Well read. Well, I'm hearing someone has scored in the Nottingham Forest game. Alex Scott, fill us in. It's a goal for Fulham. They've scored the opener here with 13 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. Could be troublesome. 
running with the ball confidently. Well, disappointing end to the move. Zeki Amdouni. Joseph Pantsil. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. And just like that, they don't have the ball anymore. Charlie Taylor. Al Dakil. Amdouni. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Gardner. But I'm hearing a goal has gone in in the Palace match. Alex Scott will tell us all about it. It's a goal for Brentford. It's now 1-0 with 25 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. Pinnock. Lombardi. Another perfect position to read it. Bastia. And it's with Foster. Joseph Pantsil. And did just enough defensively. Burnley recovering possession well. Who can he pick out? Well, the teams are locked together. Will it stay that way following this corner? Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? Oh, good save. Excellent header. Well smuggled behind for another corner. And first-class defending cleared off the line. And he takes on the shot and getting across to stop it. Who can he pick out? Spot on with that tackle. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Space afforded him. Cross fired over. And so, officially speaking, the first half is in the history books here in Lancashire. Well, underway once more. And it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in this second half. Well, news of a goal update in the Nottingham Forest game. Alex Scott? Yep, it's a goal for Nottingham Forest. It was a nice pullback, a low-driven shot. They couldn't do anything about that one. The score's level again now at 1-1 with 49 minutes played. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Well, nothing further to worry about in the end. Good defending. Oh, he looks threatening. And putting paid to the danger. Oh, lovely ball. Chance here. What a block. And over comes the corner. Half-hearted clearance. Pinnock. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. 
And news of a goal at the Etihad Stadium. Alex Scott. It's his second goal for Manchester City. They're now behind by one with 61 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter-attack. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. And the story now confirms Spurs have got their man, Stuart. Can they forge ahead? No! Chance missed! And a big chance at that, Derek. He should have put them in the driving seat there. And they've been getting two substitutes warmed up and both will come on here. Watford regaining possession. Emmanuel Dennis. Oh, a real lapse by the keeper. And a decent save. Full credit. Who can they pick out? And making sure it wasn't problematic. Callum O'Hare. Nathan Broadhead. Crossed into the penalty area. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Well, there's been a goal at the Etihad. He's in here. It has to be. And there it is. The deadlock has been broken. We wondered if a goal would arrive. Well, now it has. And will there be a response now? Gardner. Well, sincere apologies for having to cut you off just then, Alex. Just to confirm, Manchester City did find the net in that match. And they're on top currently, 3-1. Teamwork and passing in evidence. Alfie May. Takes the shot. What a block. And he was in the right place to intercept. This might be ideal for the counter. Just not looking confident in possession. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. And there goes the final whistle. Well, suffice it to say, the Watford fans won't be going home happy following this defeat. What did you make of it?